This is Frederick from Avassa. In this video, we will look at OS upgrades in Avassa and how to utilize the pre-built OS upgrade images that we have. So I want to start you off by going to gitlab.com Avassa public OS upgrade, which will take you to this repository. In this repository, you will find information about our currently supported distributions, which are Debian Ubuntu, Red Hat's RHEL for Device Edge, and Fedora Core OS. This repository also contains instructions on how to write your own OS upgrade worker. So if you have a distribution that we don't support or don't support yet, you can actually write your own upgrade worker, typically in Python. And this repository outlines how you do that. I also want to highlight that the upgrade workers, i.e. that code that is specific to the different distributions, is run as any application in Avassa. And for the demo, I have already deployed a couple of those, as you will see momentarily. Now I'm going to switch to the control tower. Here you can actually see that I have uh, two OS upgrade applications up and running, one for CoreOS and one for Debian. So I'm going to click one of these and just briefly show you what they look like. Here you can see the OS upgrade for CoreOS, where I'm using an image that I built and pushed to this control tower called OS upgrade latest. And the command that is running in this one is osupgrade.coreOS. If we go to the Debian one, you will see that it's very similar. If I scroll down a bit, at least we're running the OS upgrade for Debian. With Debian, we are actually using uh, systemd to do the OS upgrades. So you will find some more configuration here on how we mount the systemd socket into the container. All of this is documented in the OS upgrade repository. The next thing I want to show you is how you control this. So you tell the system which applications are actually OS upgrade applications through configuration. You can also specify maintenance windows. So in this case, I've configured a number of days and the start time is one in the morning in the site local time. So if you have sites that are in different time zones, the recommendation is to use site local time zone. That way you know that the upgrade will start at, in this case, 1 a.m. in the site local time. The duration is a timeout. So this allows the system to do the system upgrades for a time window of four hours. Now I'm going to go back here to my sites and I'm going to choose, uh, for example, this site, which is a Debian site. So clicking on OS upgrade here, you can see you can see that the next upgrade is supposed to run in, in 16 hours. You can also see the maintenance window. And here you can see I've had some kind of issue running this. And what probably happened was that uh, these machines were offline. So it, the last time it ran, it upgraded a single machine. And here I actually have an override button. So I can click here to trigger an OS upgrade. So I'll do that now. So now it will do an upgrade one at a time. So you can see that it's uh, upgrading Stockholm one now. The other two machines were probably already upgraded. And here you can see we're successfully upgraded or at least checked if there were any upgrades. So hopefully this gives you an overview on how you can work with OS upgrades in Avassa. Thank you.